ETOPS, Oceanic Airspace Contingencies, Engine Failure. This video begins with the aircraft flying in ETOPS airspace, this time, approaching the equal time point, shown on the FMC as goal 01. The crew has already updated the contingency briefing, and from now on, in case of emergency, the plan is to continue to Mali Airport, flying offset 15 miles to the right. Flying at normal cruise speed, we are at approximately 1 hour and 35 minutes from the airport. Engine failure. Captain, we have an engine failure. Roger, autopilot A command. The speed is dropping fast. Auto throttle disengaged, I will set maximum N1 over the amber bug. Roger. Our contingency plan is to turn to the right. Heading selector, turning 90 degrees to the right. Heading 229 set. Checked. Select the engine out page. Left engine out. Checked. Target speed 250, N1 maximum continuous, 100.5. Speed intervention. Change over. 250 not set. Checked. Flight level 255 set. Checked. 2 miles offset, level change, MCP speed. Roger. Identify the failure. There is no N1 rotation, no N2 rotation. It seems we have a severe damage on engine number 1. Agree. Memory actions, auto throttle disengaged, thrust lever number 1. Confirm number 1. Close. Engine start lever number 1. Confirm number 1. Cut off. Engine fire switch number 1. Confirm number 1. Override. Pull. No fire or overheat indication. Memory actions completed. Roger. Turning to the left to fly off set 15 miles. Flight level 185 set. Checked. Increasing speed to Mach 0.76. Checked. Electrical. Drive. Source off. Canceling master caution. Roger. Turn all lights on. Seat belts on. And set 15 miles off set to the right on the FMC. Fifteen miles to the right set. Execute. LNAV. Attention, heads up for possible traffics during the descent. You may be crossing another airway. Change over, speed 280 not set. Checked. Reducing thrust to idle. Cancelling auto throttle light. Roger. Let's read the engine fire, severe damage, or separation checklist. Engine fire or engine severe damage or separation checklist. Condition, one or more of these occur, engine fire warning, airframe vibration with abnormal engine indications. I think that is our case, agree? Agree. Auto throttle, if engaged, disengage. Disengaged. Thrust lever affected engine, engine number one, confirm close. Closed. Engine start lever affected engine, engine number 1. Confirm cutoff. Cutoff. Engine fire switch affected engine, engine number 1. Confirm pull. Pulled. If the engine fire switch or engine overheat light is illuminated, not the case, agree? Agree. That is the end of the memory actions. Choose 1, high vibration occurs and continues after the engine is shut down, or, Height airframe vibration does not occur or does not continue after the engine is shut down. There is no vibration. Agree. Isolation valve switch, close. Closed. Checked. Pack switch affected side, off. Left side, agree? Agree. Off. Checked. This step causes the operating pack to regulate to high flow in flight with the flaps up. Roger. APU bleed air switch off. Already off. Checked. We have the off schedule light illuminated, okay? Roger. Choose one, APU is available for start, or, APU is not available. It is already running. Agree. APU generator switch, affected side, 
On. Go ahead. On. Autopilot A command. Transponder mode selector. TA only. TA only. Checked. This prevents climb commands which can exceed single engine performance capability. Roger. Set 7700. Set. Isolation valve switch, after the fire has been extinguished, auto. No fire, agree? Agree. Auto. Checked. This step ensures bleed air is available to both wings if wing anti-ice is needed. Roger. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Note. Do not use FMC performance predictions. Roger. Set flight level 185 as flight altitude to extinguish the off-schedule light. Flight level 185 set, off schedule light extinguished. Checked. Go to the one engine inoperative landing checklist on page 7.32. Engine severe damage checklist completed. Roger. The gross weight now is 68 tons. Okay. Check ISA deviation. ISA deviation plus 15. To determine the appropriated flight level to fly single engine at a speed of 280 knots, you may check FPPM. Flight Planning and Performance Manual and Route, Engine and Operative Section In practical terms, you may select a flight level close to 18,000 feet, as long as you are not more restricted than the parameters that your operator took into consideration when calculating the ETOPS performance. Set Flight Level 185 and Speed 280 on the FMC. Set. Execute. If you level off at the altitude assigned on the FMC as maximum single engine altitude, you will not be able to keep 280 knots, even using maximum continuous thrust. 1000 to level off. Checked. Select maximum continuous thrust. Selected. Roger. Altitude acquire. Altitude hold. Broadcast Mayday on 121.5 and 123.45 and try contact Mumbai and HF. Roger, I will. Trimming the aircraft. Mayday, 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 Alpha Bravo Charlie, flying southeast bound on airway Lima 894, flight level 185, position Golem at 1006. Alpha Bravo Charlie, this is Mumbai Control, we received your mayday. You are clear to maintain flight level 185. At position Bidgo, contact Mali Control on 123.9. We will notify Mali about your situation. Clear to maintain flight level 185. We'll call Mali on 123.9 over Bidgo. Thank you. Alpha Bravo Charlie. We are arriving in Mali in approximately 1 hour and 40 minutes. I will brief the crew and make an announcement for the passengers. When I finished, I will contact the company on the SATCOM. Roger. You have controls and radios. I have control and radios. I will balance the fuel. Roger. Crossfeed open. Fuel pumps tank number two off. Checked. 